All right, Coach Scotty here, and I am excited to share with you the plans for the next challenge, for the next monthly challenge. And this one is about core strength, and it's going to be a reversal, and I'll tell you a bit about what that means in a moment. So it's two exercises. One is called butterfly sit-ups. Some people call them frog sit-ups. The other is called LMR crunches, left, middle, right crunches. So I'll explain both of them. Butterfly sit-ups mean you take your legs and you have them spread like butterfly wings, okay? Soles of your feet together, knees out. Now, what this does is when you do a sit-up the traditional way, when you do a sit-up with your legs up here and together, your dominant prime mover is your legs. They're going to yank on your spine, causing it to be hyperlordotic, overarched, and it's gonna make your back sore. That's why sit-ups fell out of popularity because some of the strongest muscles, your hip flexors, iliacus, iliopsoas, they actually pull on your lower vertebrae and they yank before your abs are strong enough to engage. Now, when you're super fit, that's not an issue, but when you're starting, your abs are not as strong as your legs and your legs will outpull your abs, causing your back to be sore. How we get away from that is we turn those leg muscles off. We do that by being in butterfly position or frog position. With your legs out to the side, they can't help anymore. Your abs now have to do all the work. That's fantastic, but it's also difficult. You might find that you can't do one at all. I've seen that over and over with my clients. So this is what it looks like if you can do them. So legs are in butterfly position. You go back all the way, touch the floor and sit up. Okay. That is a butterfly sit up. Now, if you can't do that, what you do to get through this is something that might seem counterintuitive. You grab a weight. This is a sand filled ball. It could be a milk jug, it could be a water bottle with sand in it or just a water, bottle. it doesn't matter. Any sort of weight, you can use a dumbbell, okay? By having a weight, what you're going to do, you're gonna benefit and it's gonna benefit you. You take the weight and you put it behind you to touch the floor, then you bring it forward and you kind of half toss it forward to get you up. Looks like this. So the weight goes back, touch the ground, and then push it forward and it lifts you up. Back, touch, and it lifts you up. And you can get through the sit-up. And if you don't believe me, just try this. Try it without a weight and try it with a weight. It's very difficult. It's an awesome, awesome, awesome exercise. And if you can do it without the weight, and without the big arm throw, you're just gonna get stronger and stronger. Now, that's butterfly sit-ups. The second piece we're going to do is LMR crunches, left, middle, right crunches. Less range of motion, doesn't have the full sit up, which involves your hip flexors and your legs and your back hurting. So it's just the crunch part, just the rounding of your back. So LMR stands for left, middle, right. And what I want you to do is be down, and I just want you to crunch till your shoulders come off the ground, hands go left, middle, right, middle, left, middle, right. What that's nice is you can count by twos, right? Two, four, six, eight, etc. I want your hands to come up till they just touch your knees, as far as you can. If you can't get to your knees, go as far as you can. I want you to round your back up so your shoulders just come off the ground, grabbing here. I, Never ever pull on the back of your head, right? Hands outstretched, grab thumbs, and just go left, middle, right, middle, left. Now, what we're doing with the full reversal is this. On day one, on March 1st, you're going to do one butterfly sit-up and 99 left, middle, right crunches. That's a lot. If you're not used to left, middle, right crunches, you're gonna find the front of your neck gets very sore because it's holding your head up in a position you're not used to. So take breaks. If you need to split it up through the day and do 25, 25, 24 to get your 99, great. That totally works, okay? Restrict your range of motion. So instead of going all the way, so instead of to here, go here. Whatever you can. Any little rounding motion is going to strengthen your abdominals and that's the goal. Now on day two, we're gonna do two butterfly sit-ups. And 98, three, 97, four, 96, 5, 95, all the way to day 15. Now on March 15th, you're going to do 15 butterfly sit-ups and 85 
LMR crunches. But on day 16, you're going to do 20 and 80, 25 and 75, 30, 70, 35, 65, 40, 60, etc. until we are all the way at 95 and five. Uh, actually, 90 and 10 is our final one on March 30th. On March 31st, I'll do the draw. We'll announce what we're going to do for April. That's the plan. If you have any questions, let me know. These should be fairly straightforward exercises for everybody to do. If you do have a shoulder impingement issue where you can't get your hands above your head for the butterflies, then you can still use the weight and just go down to here and throw it up, right? Bring it with you and put it back up. It's more beneficial if you can go right over your head because this motion causes a crunch, right? So this is abs brings you up. Slowly down, decelerate, down and up, okay? So that's it. We're gonna have a blast. It's the same as always, $5 to play, goes into the pot, the whole pot goes out to everybody, to the winner of everybody that finished. I will build the poll in the group and get that ready for you. I can't wait to keep getting stronger and stronger and stronger with you as we progress forward through the rest of the year. Have the most amazing day. Happy Valentine's Day.